you guys work in some capacity, alright? This is a community event, we're going to treat it as such. Um, second of all, we're going to give you, if you haven't been given your, your group and your, well you guys already know what your group is, but you'll know what your work order is and what your... What is up guys? Back for another autocross event. We're out in Lubbock, Texas today. A um, lot of solemns. A lot, a lot of solemns. I'll put up the track map here. Um, walk the track. It seems pretty simple. Um, it's gonna be a good couple spots with some speed. Uh, the back turnaround at the very back side, uh, that's gonna be interesting. Coming, It's like a quadruple solemn into like a sweeping, come back around, and it's kinda like a little and then you go through the, the end there. Uh, no stop box, so that's very nice. Um, it should help with brake heat a lot, which would be very nice. I still need to check tire pressures. Only thing that's changed since the last event is I rotated tires. That's literally it. Um, these tires are on their last free. This is literally the last event for these. Uh, I ordered tires earlier this week. They should be here today, actually. Um, probably going to mount them mounted sometime this week. But uh, it's going to be a good day. Really excited. I think I counted 31 cars, and it's 32 drivers. There's a couple people sharing a car. Um, what else we got? I don't know. About to go on a parade lap. Let's see how she goes. Right, lap number five. Hey, hey. Down to 30 pounds on all the tires. exactly sure how those laps went on camera but it's a very fun very demanding course um, them solemns get a little crazy gosh darn Whew. left right left right left right man just at the speed that some of them uh, what's the word here um, basically you're, you're able to get a lot more speed than what you can use going into those so you really got to kind of figure out your best speed to to get in there and, and stay stable it's a little tough because this car has i mean first and second gear this thing just runs like a bat out of hell like it is crazy how much torque and how much power it's it's just putting down to the ground at those low gears like barely touching the throttle and first above like four thousand. like you are in your seat um 
But at the same time, like at that point, if I was in second gear, it'd be kind of like bogging the car. So I'm at like a weird spot for, for some of it. I gotta figure out more, but I did get, I think like a low 55. And from what I was seeing earlier, most people were in the like higher 56s. So I need to like bring up the list here and see. Right now I'm just making circles and like this back part of the parking lot just going off the brakes and everything. Um, peaking, <laughs> I peaked 34 pounds of boost at some points as a P3 gauge, but temps are pretty good. The oil temp got up to like one, four, or 248. Cooling temps just fine. No issues there. Car's doing great other than like the tires are, like I said, pretty well beat. I lowered them all down to 30 pounds seems to be the best. Um, I might actually play with my struts a little bit because I have them set to 25 out of 30 right now so I think I can maybe finesse a little little more out of the car if I lighten them up a little bit but we'll see how it goes all right looking here at halftime looking at the times I am 0.124 behind the Porsche GT2 I'm in second place at a 55 one something and he's like 54993 so pretty good um, I need to remember put the tires down to 30 pounds and I need to see if I can find a jack maybe to get to my rear stretch I gotta jack up the car and I might go down like five clicks all around uh, see if that helps at all but I only need like I mean just a, a hair to get first place which would be nice they got like a $90 detailing kit um, for first place today would have been really nice because the last event was like 10 liters or whatever of Motul 300V. Would have been super nice to get that. But anyway, about to go out and walk the course. It is freaking hot. It is hot, hot. What are we looking at right now? No, that's not accurate. No, the hottest day is 94 and it's probably dang near that right now. At least there's a breeze.
Well guys, uh, I didn't record too much there at the end of the day. It was extremely hot and I was extremely exhausted, like bad to the point. I'm still, I'm hurting. It was yesterday and just from driving and lack of sleep and all that. It was a rough day out in the heat. It really was, but I did, I wound up fourth. Uh, we had two cars pass me in a Porsche. It was a, like a just crazy built two door STI. Um, it was like one of the most STIs that we didn't get in the United States. So I don't know what, apparently the dude trailered it there, like in an enclosed trailer. Apparently he does like rally cross with it and this, that, and the other. That car came through and killed all of us. Crazy. It was a crazy dope car. I didn't even get any close ups of it or anything. I just, that thing came out of nowhere and just destroyed us. It's pretty crazy. And then the C6 Corvette I was back and forth with last event, he got, excuse me, second place. And then the GT2 was third and then me at fourth. Uh, and my best run of the day was in the morning. Everybody else um, improved in the afternoon, but I didn't because of my tires. They were holding me back so hard. You guys saw in the clip where I hit all those cones. Um, it was just bad. Like, even with I couldn't drop the tire pressures anymore without the sidewall rolling over too much. And it just, the car was just not having it. Or the tires were just not having it. I couldn't hold, maintain the same amount of speed in a turn. Um, in the second half of the day, even though it was hotter, I thought it would stick a little bit better, you know, but she just was not having it. it was not a good day for the tires. I mean, those tires are beat now. Um, I'm going to go get new tires put on probably Monday or Tuesday, sometime this week. And we got out across this Sunday again in Amarillo. It'll be the first event of the season with them. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully add a couple more awards to the wall. I actually, I still I got three of them sitting here. I need to put up still from last season, but um, it was a real good day. Also, shout out to Eric for recording those clips from outside the car. Um, I know I really need to get a GoPro, and I'm going to make a reminder on my phone right now to put a GoPro attachment on my helmet. Okay, Google. Remind me this week to put a GoPro attachment on my helmet. Sorry, I can only set reminders for a specific point in time. What time do you want to be reminded? Wednesday afternoon. Okay, I'll remind you on Wednesday at 1 p.m. Sweet. So, I want to get a GoPro on there so you guys can see like from exactly where I am. So we can do a clip from the GoPro here, a clip here, a clip on the front, a clip on the back. Um, I really just need to get a better GoPro. GoPro. They're so expensive. I need parts, like I've been saving up the last two weeks to get tires, now we got tires, I still need to get an intercooler, I want to get motor mounts and I can start doing other stuff again, I want to do um, some stiffer springs, I still need to get seats, still need a steering wheel, there's so many things, so many races going on, um, like I said next week autocross and then there's a dig day, and next week my sister's going, uh, traveling out to Dallas because her uh, son's grandmother uh, lives out in Dallas, so any homies out in Dallas, I'll be out there in two weeks for three days um, Be hanging out with my sister. I got another couple friends down there that aren't in the cars I'm gonna be hanging out with but I'm trying to go out at least one night in Dallas while I'm there um, Not this weekend, which I wanted to go down for street car takeover this weekend. But there's other stuff going on locally And now that my sister's going out, I'm not gonna go out there two weekends back to back. That's like seven hours one way, so um, But yeah, let's say shout out to Eric for uh, doing some clips and uh, hopefully next event's a lot better with some new tires and then uh, yeah just more rate reduction all that jazz anyway I'm gonna stop yapping um, any questions comments concerns drop it down below and I'll uh, catch you on the flip flop oh and we got some parts coming this week maintenance stuff we'll be making some maintenance videos so stay tuned for that thanks for watching catch you on the flip flop